lagi Cukulah kau dapatkan diri lebih Burung kaya kapak pundi dulu Mba Um, let's just start Uh Allah uh, <laughs> Alala Aloha Welcome back To me And good to see you As well hmm. It's good to see you It's good to see George It's good to see my girlfriend Kalila I've been gone again for a while Let's recap Dad died Didn't cry yet What? Still You know Thinking about I don't know It's weird I'm, I'm like I can feel it In my chest And in my heart I'm just Just constantly And I talk to my brothers at My brother at night I go Um Are you depressed? And he'll go, yeah, I've never felt this kind of depression before. It, it really is, especially when you haven't grieved, I guess. Mm-hmm. So I'm just kind of walking around like a zombie. <laughs> But you know what? It's You know, when I was driving here, I, I thought to myself, I can't wait to see my brothers. My brother George and my brother Gilbert. My Thank good you. friends. Because, <laughs> you know, when I'm gone, I just can feel the foundation of the house being built. I can feel that you guys are doing hard work and being trustworthy and keeping all our money and stuff in, intact. And I, I think about my girlfriend, Kalila, and I go, wow, what a lovely, 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 you know? <laughs> and uh, so it's great. But anyway, welcome. Mm-hmm. Good to see you, baby. It's all of us. I love all of you guys. <laughs> Why did you say that? Why are you going to murder I us at night? What is Why happening? did you say that? Why did you say that? Why did you say I'm like scared. Now. Why did you say that? Was that weird? You you've already been trying to like pick fights like on the way over here with the with the music. Oh right, oh, what was yeah, the yeah. challenge? He well, the challenge is this. He's a he's a tyrant when it I, comes. I'm not a tyrant. To, <laughs> uh, no, I just like, go by the rules of oh. life. What are the yes? I never get to play what I want. Right, you drive then. Yeah, you know what? Even when I drive your ass three hours, I don't get to play a single song. No, when you drive, I do. Oh bullshit, Bobby! <laughs> One time I drove us all the way to like. Like oh hi, some place really far, like three hours. Oh hi, and you sat back asleep, and you still would bitch when I would try to put my own music on. Jaya ko eh, pagkanagay asa to tutu ko na na na. Play over here. Did you hate? Great, it? I loved it. Mirrors, the yeah. mirrors, the the cover of the f- Karen one. Karen Dalton gr- song. Yeah, so I saw. Listen, that the other one, spec. I didn't like it that much. The deep uh, voiced one. No, the first one was Orville Peck. Orville Peck, that guy. Queen of the Rodeo. He's so good. What He's are you great. talking He's about? He's the king, though, not the and queen. And what's the third song I played? Um, you played. I don't remember. Okay, Your Silent Face by New Order. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Let me ask you something. I know that I know you feel. I know you're probably gonna edit this part out because you're, um, that way. <laughs> and, I, and I say that in in a positive way, not in a negative way. What? <laughs> that way, in in terms of your dynamic, mm-hmm. in a. In like a nerd way, <laughs> you know. So mean. No, no, like at a science fair, like at a science fair when you see the guy, the king all- of the science fair. Yeah. You're not the king of it. You yeah. didn't win any. You just entered the science. You fair. entered it. Participate. You haven't won anything yet. Mm-mm. Because your your what your volcano, <laughs> your the yeah. volcano that you built out of clay. Who's it's, first place? It's hacky. Do something different. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you like a little project about the singularity or about, about our Ooh. oceans being with the microplastics? Light, plastic, the plastics. Mm-hmm. You can fix those things, okay? But I wanted to say, um, I love you. Oh, I love you too, Bobby. I don't know. <laughs> I do. I meant what I said. But I'm yeah, trying what? to. I love you. I don't know. It doesn't feel right. Your neck looks strange. But you. Your neck looks strange. But you. But you. Why? But you. Yeah. I love you. No, don't. But you know, you know who I love the most, though. Right now, I love you the most, baby. Of course, but second, <laughs> you're number one. But second, and I've been, because I've been doing Magnum PIs. I know you love the most. Hawaii. I know you love the most, and I love Jay Hernandez mm-hmm. the most. There it is. You know, the yesterday I was in a scene with him. I was in the back of a car. His Mustang, whatever the Magnum dr- drives. Yeah, and um, I was mesmerizing his the freckles on the back of his neck memorizing you were mesmerizing it? no i was memorizing memorizing oh. and mesmerizing okay oh you're okay his skin you're mem- jay hernandez's skin is like the purest um what's that drink with that cinnamon drink that they have horchata horchata <laughs> my gosh it's the color of pure horchata oh the, in the, the purest kind the specks are the cinnamon the freckles yes ah. right it is and he smells like that the canelo he canelo, smells yeah. like You know what he smells like when I see his skin and it's in his body? That if I gave him a brand new guitar, he would go... Tra-ra-ra-ra-ra-ra. Spanish guitar. Yeah. Is that a he would do... Like that, right? And then all of a sudden, 
you would have the thing. What's that thing with the napkin with the bowl? Uh, Matador. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. You know, I don't know how that. What's the no, mo- noises that they make? But is he from he's, Spain? No, he's Mexican. But oh. I really like him. I met his wife. I don't think I've. I didn't meet his kids. Um. So tell us about how your new best friend um almost po- <laughs> poisoned you. <laughs> almost killed you by poisoning <laughs> wait what okay i can't talk about that because he doesn't know about it he doesn't know about it so i can't well, talk. also it's i'll throw it out there it. yeah throw not, it. i'll not, throw it out there and then we'll edit it out but you know what here how about this you didn't know if it was from him or not you weren't sure so. I, I i have a good feeling so i mean I so he save you but. i know but he so he goes so i'm friends with i love everyone on the show all right but my scenes are always with magnum and that girl Purdy, she's mm-hmm. great. Higgins, she plays Higgins in it. Mm-hmm. I love her. And we were at, she, he invites me to his house with a- Amy Hill lives there too. Love her. You know Amy? Mm-hmm. She's the best. So they all live in this beautiful like high rise, right? And they have this like center where people lounge around this pool. The pool has, it's clear so that you can see the, the street. So it's like on, you know, on a, 20th floor but if you're in the pool if you look down on the ground it's the street so it's scary oh see- it's see through yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. see through so um you know they're having barbecue and whatnot and um and I go I just kind of yelled out I shouldn't have yelled it out but I'm hungry not hungo no I just said so maybe I said that yeah but I just said that I blurted out like hungo you're right and Jay goes I'm a good whatever I can make a hamburger yeah so he stands up he makes me a hamburger and um, he gives it to me, and I, now that you know, he's a, you know, he's a star of the show. I have to eat it. Mm, respect, mm-hmm. right? Have I have to eat it. So I bit into it, and then um, was it delicious? It, it was very good. Yeah. But then I said, "Wow, this is the best hamburger I've ever had." I don't know why I said that. Yeah. But as soon as I said that, my stomach started gurgling, and I farted. I don't know if That's it was. Fast. It's wow. pretty fast. Yeah. Maybe it was something that I ate before it that was pushing out. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember it not, my, my, and I had diarrhea. It can't act that fast. It would. It must have been something before that. Maybe it was something before that. Yeah. So that's why I'm not blaming the hamburger. Yeah. Yeah. But I did have diarrhea. And then what lie did you come up with? Remember? I don't remember what I say. <laughs> Do you you remember called your lie? me and you were like, <laughs> I don't hey, remember my hey. lies. <laughs> Do you remember your yeah, lies? So many you lies. Can't, but I remember all his lies like he uh, caps. What is it? You told him. You, because you suddenly left without saying goodbye, and then you oh, texted you everyone. You're like, I had a panic attack from the height of the pool. That's right. So nice. the pool. That's why I mentioned the pool about yeah. the. So he had mentioned that, and I go, I have. To, I didn't say goodbye to anybody. I just left because I had diarrhea. Yeah. And I blamed it later on the pool, but I think it was the hamburger. I think it was before that. Maybe before that. But Jay, I love your hamburgers. I'll eat another one. Best hamburgers. <laughs> the best, best hamburger had, ever. even though it was the worst. Um, Burning sensation I've ever had inside my butthole. <laughs> and then after that, um, he calls me and he's like, I'm really unwell. Um, I haven't, you know, I he never throws up. I've never seen him throw up I've never vomited six in six years my life. Oh. that I've been with him. He was actually throwing up. Yeah. So um, right before he goes to bed, he's like, oh, you know, I'm just going to, I'm curled up in bed. I'm going to go to sleep. I said, okay, I'm going to go to sleep. Good night. We said good night. This was about 9 p.m., right? The next day, I try to get a hold of him. And I don't hear anything. 6 p.m. rolls along. I'm like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 6 p.m. his time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. What happened was, what happened was that night, right, I went and bought, I went to ABC, which is kind of their Mm 7-Eleven, but it's great. In fact, oh, I got you gifts. Fuck. My bad. Spam Musibi. (laughs) Dude, I love ABC. You guys like mints? I love ABC store, yeah. Like mints, right? So I got you. I got you to get some mints. Um, here you go. I'm nervous to open it. No, just mints. Okay. Here you go. Just mint. Thank you. A package of mints. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, this is one of my favorite gifts. What? May I show the audience? Yeah. Oh, yours is different than mine. No, it's they're all the same. I think these are Donald Trump <laughs> mints that I buy at ABC. It's great. It's a great mint. It's one of probably the best mints ever made. Oh, the best mint. It's the best. Imagine yeah. like the poor manufacturers of that. It's probably it, where's like, it made? Walk of my think? life. I have to Brooklyn, New York. Oh, it, it's made in the U.S. Okay, that but was, the tin that is was made, disappointing. I was I was it, ho- hoping it was made in China. That would have been. But the tin, the is, tin is, made, is made in China. The tin's made in China. I want to so, say I also. Wait, no, hold on yeah. one second. We're, we 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 haven't Sorry, to the good part. 
So then eight o'clock rolls along his time and he's still nowhere to be found. No one, no one's heard from him. I'm call, I've called the front desk to contact his hotel room to see if the ring will be loud enough. Because at this point, I've, I think he's dead. Oh, wow. Okay, so I went and bought these wax earplugs. The kinds that are made, of, you kind of stick it, you know, and you form it into your ears. Yeah. And I've stuck it deep into my ears. And then I have an eye thing. Mm. One of those fancy eye things. Eye mask, yeah. Right. So I have that and that. And then I took a little too much like melatonin gummies. I take melatonin gummies and like this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And then some, a little bit of unison. And I stuck it in there and I went to sleep. And I slept for like 16 hours or something. Whoa. I couldn't wake up. And the phone was ringing because she can contact at security. No, I told security to fucking do a welfare check. Yeah, yeah. How scared I was. So they were calling, and then all of a sudden, I, I could hear it through the thing, and I picked it up, and they're like, sir, are you okay? Your, your family, your family's concerned. <laughs> and I go, what family? I have no family. I have no family. Your wife and your kids, they're concerned. <laughs> your kids. Right? And when you wake up like that, you go, what happened? Maybe I did that. I don't know. Yeah. But then she goes, and then she, and then she, you know, I, I called her, and she's like, what? You're crying, Kalala? I get so worried. She gets worried. Mm. Yeah, because he's like, I've never felt this ill in my life, so I was so sure that's- Jay, it was a happen. delicious hamburger, man. The best. I love you, man. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> <laughs> he's all right. I like him. Um, But you know what, dude? I, you know, when I'm on that thing, and when I'm yeah. working, I'm there for so long, I just get lost. Because you, you, go, you go to your acai places, and then, you know, you fuck around with the locals, the guys. You what, know, at the, what do you do? I just like do tricks. I'll squeeze her ass and walk, run away, <laughs> laughing or whatever, you know. And you know, you start, hang on one second, Gilbert. Your tit out. Why? Why the fuck didn't you tell me my tit was out the whole time? I told you it was. No, why, why didn't you tell? You tell me? Was it? Yes. We George, didn't see you it. You have babe. to look at that. Roll back. <laughs> no, 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 no don't roll it back. Your titty out. is delicious, babe. Everyone needs to know. We have to my... trust the process. Yeah. <laughs> you can, try, yeah. So here's another thing that I did. Yeah. What I what I did was. What I, uh, what I did was I, I what did I watch? I, oh, here's okay. Here's the thing I want to watch uh-huh. is the Joker. Mm. That looks good, but it's not just that it won the Venice Film Festival thing award, a eight, grand jury, yeah. eight minute standing Thanks. ovation. Dude, I've never stood for eight minutes for anything. <laughs> you know, I'm be real. If I had to do like a run. You're, it would go eight minutes, it, five, seven minutes. It'd sit down. It would go seven minutes and I'll yeah. sit down. <laughs> because to stand for eight minutes to applaud, it must be that good. And then the reviews have been, there have been some negative ones, but mostly it's because it's so dark mm-hmm. and depressing. And you know, you know, some white people, white people get sensitive. They don't, no, when white people go dark, they go the darkest. Yeah. Right? But when they're liberal and they're sensitive, they get really, you know, they get, you know, so the reviews have been that, like that, but the most... <laughs> I'm really liking your review, though, right now. <laughs> it's right amazing. <laughs> and their sensitivities. Well, you're okay, you're not sensitive? George is less sensitive was, than me. No, no, but just in general, white people are sensitive, no? Mm, I think everyone's sensitive. Yeah, we're all sensitive. You're right. You know what? I apologize I was, to the people. I was waiting to be offended. Hey, guys. Uh, Sergeant Rapper here is an ad. Ship station, when you're selling online, get your orders out, can be a real pain. Mm-hmm. Time consuming, expensive, yeah. so many carriers to choose from. How do you know you're making the right best choice? That's why you need ShipStation.com. It's the fastest, easiest, and most affordable way to manage and ship your orders. And can I say so this, mm-hmm. just as a side note, that we use all of our products mm-hmm. on a daily basis and we believe in them. Mm-hmm. Tell them more about the ShipStation. Guys, there. no matter Bud? what, <laughs> but no matter where you're selling, Amazon, Etsy, or your own website, or like Tiger Belly, like how we use our own website, it brings your all your orders to one simple interface. So making them really easy to manage on any device so I can do it on my phone, click, click, click. And I just made a lot of money. So, and right now, Tiger Belly listeners can try ShipStation free for 60 days when you use the promo code BELLY. There's absolutely no risk. You can start your free trial without even entering your credit card info. Just visit ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in BELLY. That's ShipStation.com, then enter the promo code BELLY. ShipStation.com. BELLY. Make ship happen. And happen. If you find $100 on the street, guys, would you pick it up or keep walking? Of course, you take the money. Am I not right? You're so right. So why would you keep picking winners and not betting on them? My mom says you have to step on it first before you pick up the bill or else it's bad luck and yeah. you're going to lose double the amount. That's why I go to bookie, my bookie. <laughs> dot, 
That's why I go to my bookie. It's fast, it's easy, and they pay you when you freaking win. Let's face it. Yeah. Where your betting is just as important as you betting on. You know? Yeah. But you're, but yeah. <laughs> Finish, read that. I wouldn't be telling you guys. You, it's important to bet, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's good to be a betting man, yeah, yeah. baby. Yeah. Be a betting man. Make some money with my bookie. Yeah. Guys, and to do it, uh, use promo code BELLY to activate the offer. That's the promo code BELLY. Visit mybookie.ag today. You play, you win, you get paid. Y- 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 what do y- we y- found? Y- like UFC? What do you think? Uh, you probably do like what? I like fights, so I do like boxing, yeah. UFC. I do books. I book. You you bet on you wait hold, you bet on books. I really oh, do. Oh well, football season just started. So. That's right, right. The Miami Dolphins killing it. Name wow, it. you actually know it. Keep team. going. Yeah, they're doing it really real. Who else, babe? Who's your favorite team? Miami Dolphins, because they're really winning, in the in a losing kind of a way. <laughs> and that's how he knows. See, that's why he I love knows it. football. Yeah. Guys, anyway, go do it. Enjoy the rest. My of the, bookie. Enjoy the rest of the it's show. Our favorite. Enjoy the rest Let's of the go. show. Can I tell you about sensitivity? <laughs> I just right like now? how he was giving a review of white people. And you know how um, I posted while you were asleep, I posted a video of you sucking Don Ho's dick, Whoa. a statue of Don Ho's dick. Whoa. And Whoa. Um, first of all, he died <laughs> way before I could meet him. I know. So no but dick sucked there. It was a there. statue of you. Oh, the statue. Was, yeah, you were. Oh, I've stuck his dick. Okay, well, I've like a statue I'm dick. To help yeah, you. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> statue dick, yes. Uh, yeah, not real, not real dick though. So this girl I know from Hawaii immediately texted me here. I'll show you. Oh, she's she, saying that it's like that's our God. You, you. you it, this is what really kind letter. of irks me. Where I'm like, oh, really? Come on, a six-second video of Bobby blowing like an inconspicuous statue that no one. Well, give me the message. Recognize. It's making me so angry. Give me the he message. Goes, he died tragically, and his daughter killed himself immediately after. The rest of his kids are still alive. Just FYI. And I was like, Bobby was tiny bubbles. So yeah. Tiny Bubbles, mm-hmm. Tiny Bubbles, the man, the myth, yeah. right? The legend. He died. His daughter killed himself. Tragically, yeah. Tragically. It is tragic. Right? It is tragic. tragic, yeah. Yes. You know what? This tr- My dad just died, too. It's tragic. Would That's life. Would you be okay with someone's- um, I'll suck the dick. Suck- I'm going to suck down. You know what? I'm going to go back to his statue <laughs> yeah. and eat his asshole. <laughs> eat the statue's but asshole. my point was, this girl is Asian. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. And oh, so yeah. she- yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, we apologize. She's sensitive. Right. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm saying, listen, like, lady, listen. I'm. I don't. You know, here's what it is. When I was in Thailand, it is what it is, and this is what it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is. It is what it is. Let me tell you something. Right? That's what I say a lot, mm-hmm. and people point it out, and it makes me angry because this is the way I fucking talk. And you can make memes, and you can fucking do all kinds of trickery out there to force me not to do these podcasts. But you know what? <laughs> I am going to just say whatever is on my mind, and I just say things, okay? And if you don't like it, just just listen. We need you. <laughs> <laughs> we Fuck need you. you. <laughs> we really need you. We're nothing without you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I won't say it again. But my point is, is this. The thing is, is this. <laughs> Yes, I yes, love it. I hits. love it. All the hits. Play the hits I don't even know what I'm Did saying. Did you just say called, play the hits, daddy? daddy? He just called you daddy. He, at least he didn't say rock and roll. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Go what get was, him, Gob. Go get him, Gob. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. The hits. Do you know that last week when I did a podcast with Santino, he called me a dumb bitch? Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. And... I'm sorry. Back up. Uh, no. Back up, babe. No. Everyone, back no. up. I, 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 no, I no, no, nothing. No. Listen, listen. <laughs> I got like a little heated, listen, and listen. I said nothing. Uh, just listen, George. Just listen for a second. Mm-hmm. When I met you, I go, "This fucking nerd. I cannot do this maker thing. I can't run into that guy again." And then, like a month later, yeah, I like him. He's pretty cool. <laughs> He's written to me a lot. It's a little scary, but you know what? I'll give him a shot. Six months later. He's working for me. We're working together. We're doing some stuff videos. Years later. You know what? I like this guy. Trust him. He's doing my podcast. He really believes in me. And he's really... I trust him with the money and all the little details about our organization. Mm -hmm. If you ever fucking call her that again, I'll rip your eyes out. Thanks, babe. Okay. Jesus Trejo. Is that his guy? I love him. He... I love that guy. He really is... He's been calling me a lot lately about asking how I am, mm. which you don't get a lot of people doing. Even my mom and brother haven't called called me in that way. Your mom's called me. I know, but no, Asking she has too. No, no, she, no, she, no, my mom's been great, 
but if somebody that I don't know that well, he used to open for me. Mm-hmm. He's a comic. For him to go, hey, dude, I just want to see how you were. But you know, he's he, so nice. Jesus Trejo a is a cut above, above the rest. I know because he is. He hasn't lost his humanity. No matter how big that guy is, that guy will never change. <laughs> yeah. Will never change. He'll never change. He's going to be a darling and a sweetheart and a good man for the rest of his life. Yeah, he is a good guy. Um, also, you know, it makes me really optimistic, and it feels warm for guys like Andrew Santino and Eric Griffin mm-hmm. and these types of guys to fill in for me when I'm not, when things are tragic or mm-hmm. when I'm busy. It really feels like I have real allies for the first time in this business. Business. A lot of times, you you get set up to compete with people, mm-hmm. and you're so competitive with like other Asians or whatever. In the beginning, mm-hmm. it was very competitive, and I don't think I really liked anybody. You you pretend you would hang out and do gigs with people, but I really love some of the people in my life. I really do. I love these new friends that I have. I love. This new journey that I'm on, it's great. But you know, be honest with me. Am I a little scattered right now, George? Be on, I'll completely honest with me. Only just before we've paused, but other like the oh, the so whole journey. the last oh, two minutes, I've been clear. Yeah, everything before that was lo- was <laughs> scatterbrained. No, no, the no, the first like <laughs> twenty minutes was great. Then yeah. it was just a little scattered for like two minutes. Then this great. Mm-hmm. Oh, so so she's a liar. No. She's, okay, good, good. Is she a dumb she's, bitch? She's, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Whoa, hey, hey. whoa. Why did you call her that, though? Be honest with me. Because I, I, well, I deserved it because I tried to humiliate him for buying followers on Instagram. Oh, yeah. I've got that swipe up feature so I can help out the podcast. Yeah. You know, last week we got 17 views through my swipe up. 17 extra views. Look at Bobby's face right now. 17? So, so I'm... Don't tell me... That to be true, 17? Yeah, so I'm just Holy trying to help Holy as much Holy as I can. Aloha. Aloha uh, thanks to the 17 people who yeah. uh, Thank you, went 17. off on Instagram Thank you. to watch the video. But you know you know what, guys? It, I don't want to do this anyway if I have to. I just want to be free. Be free. be free. That's all. I do respect the fact that you've, you've only, in 210 episodes, you've only plugged like four episodes. <laughs> It's true. I do mm. sort of respect that about you. You're not needy in that regard. But look at our following. He doesn't even do it. Well, you you know, a lot of that has to do with, I mean, it is partly laziness and it's partly, you know, this aloof thing. I, you don't think I'm aware of my aloofness. When I'm doing it, I know, right? When I'm acting like I don't know what I'm doing, I do know. Yeah. Right? But it's like based on, there is a little bit of like laziness, but a lot of it has to do with my attitude or whatever. But it is something that I'm aware of. I'm aware of everything that I do mm-hmm. it's mentally, even when I react to situations that I'm being over dramatic or acting crazy. I'm well aware mm-hmm. of what I'm doing and how I'm being perceived. I just can't help it, mm-hmm. you know. But I love. Literally everyone, and also, can I say this too? It's a thought that I've had in Hawaii by because I was in Hawaii a lot by myself. Like, there was four days in a row where I didn't see anybody. Is that a good thing for you? It's great. Okay, because what I do is I'll walk down the beach where my little I- AirPods. I love AirPods, by the way. AirPods, yeah. Right? <laughs> and I'll be listening to like you know music, and you know it, it's weird in Hawaii. Nobody really knows who I am. If I go to downtown i'm at a really cool ramen restaurant the cook will go tiger belly or somebody right yeah but where i'm at my hotel it's all tourism Mm -hmm. so no one knows who the fuck i I don't get like bobby lee right so everyone leaves me alone it's like i'm normal guy Mm -hmm. and you know what i like it i really do i like just being with regular people hanging out could you live in hawaii i think i will Wow, I think I, hate, I will. I hate that hotel. I hate that hotel. It won't be that hotel. Like a house. But, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a, it's, it's an okay hotel. But, but I they, really, they charged me double one time. Yeah, double and a half. Like I came home, I was like, why do I have a three thousand dollar bill? <laughs> Just but, drained. But I also believe Tiger Belly that there's going to be something 
that's going to bring me there in more of a permanent basis. I don't know what exa- exactly it's going to be. And I see that you guys are going to be there too. And number two, we got um, some offers from GFL already. Amazing. Calgary maybe, Vancouver. We're working on all that kind of stuff. So uh, we got to get this back go- going. I'm in town for a while. We're going to, once we get the studio back up, we have so many big people that want to do it. They do. Mm-hmm. No, I Why be- are you smiling like that? Because um, the prog- the studio progress. It's not my fault. I when I go out of town, I expect the team to do. I'm not there. Right. Mm-hmm. So, the so team, I expect my team were you to team, get shit right? done. Everything's done. Sound panels are done. The table is done from Johnny. Yeah. Did you see the customer? Johnny! Johnny. Shout out to Johnny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but it's One. your other team. Yeah, yeah. I know. You can't. I don't know them. <laughs> I can't. I, there's nothing I can do about that. I'll work on it when I'm here. I'm here, okay? So, um... What's it feel like to be away from me for 16 days? That was a long time. I'm... It's not... It's not... It, honestly... It's not you. It's... In, in in any other circumstance, it would have been, like, really... De- but it was my dad. You know what I mean? So, going mean? going away, normally, I miss you... And I wish, you know, but because my dad died, you know, that's the forefront of your thoughts. That's in the forefront yeah. of yeah, like, totally. he's not here. He's consuming it. You know? yeah. So every day is that like calling my brother and going, are you depressed? He's like, yeah, I can't, you know, it's like, it's weird. I can't explain it. It's, it's a blur. Yeah. Mm. And you know, what's sad about it is my poor mother, you know, my mom would test text me once a month. We're fine. Mm-hmm. How are you? She texts me every day. I mean, sometimes five times a day about little things she's doing. Like, you know, I went outside and I went to the store. Mm-hmm. I came home. I don't know. I don't know what else to do, you know. And there is a sense of sadness, you know. That just, you know, when he died, I was like relieved that she wanted to stay. She goes, I want to stay in this house in Phoenix. And it gave me a relief because of the fact that I, then I didn't have to go. I had to buy, because in my head it's like, how am I? What is she gonna do? I have to get a play, place yeah, in yeah. California. She, does she have friends? Mm. How do? How I? You know? But that wasn't in play because she told me she didn't want that stuff. Mm-hmm. But now I'm thinking, maybe she does need to get closer to us. I think so. But doesn't know how to say it. But she doesn't know how to say yeah. it, and she's and she can feel it like. Because my dad's not around, so she's constantly alone. Looking for something. I can't imagine what that's like. I know, like, her dream, but way before your dad passed, we we were going through, like, Zillow and Redfin, and we were looking at, like, homes in San Diego, because that's where her sister yeah. lives. Yeah, she doesn't want to be there. She doesn't. Well, she doesn't want San Diego. No. I don't know what she wants. I think she wants to be around us, mm. to be honest with you, and... <sighs> I can't live in the same house as her, but I'll figure it out if that needs to be the case. Yeah. But so, you know, you know, that's that, you know, I'm sorry that, that, that this is the way these podcasts are going. They're not funny, but I can't help it. I cannot fake it. This is what I'm going through. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate everybody. I really do. But this is just the way it is. I mean, it'll change soon when we maybe when we get our new facility and I get all the new people in, which is what I want. There's so many people. Jessamy, Palooza, everybody wants to be. But I think that it, everyone can appreciate the fact that we're sort of in limbo right now. Okay. Like we've never been this super perfect, overly produced, you know. Thing. That's what's. Thing. Like we, we have, mm-hmm. some of us get sick. Some of our family members get ill. Life happens. And yeah. This is just what happens. It's like, I don't think anyone's faulting you or faulting anybody. Oh, you know who else is? been sweet is Theo hmm. Theo Vaughn just will randomly text me I love you or I miss you mm. that goes a long way with me that's all sorry to interrupt but we have another favorite sponsor you guys when I come home from a long day of doing nothing mm-hmm. working really hard at doing nothing yeah I get and I get hungry when I come home I with that that blue apron box is a sign of um America to me. Wow. It's a sign of hard work. Mm-hmm. It's a sign of putting sw- blood, sweat, and tears into whatever my life is. And then w- knowing that I need fuel, 
I need fuel to keep going. Mm -hmm. And when I come home and I need the fuel and I see the blue apron box, I know that there's a delicious meal. It's so close. In it's it's not that ho- it's not that hard to get that in your belly. All you have to do is order it, mm-hmm. pick out your ingredients and your recipes. It's easy to make. Even me as a doofus can make them. Mm-hmm. And when I get the nutrients and and the b- delicious food in my body, that gives me more incentive to go out there to do more nothing. America. It's Tell America. It. America. 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 To Tell start making it. delicious, bragworthy meals at home without the hassle, try Blue Apron. Check out this week's menu and get $60 off when you visit blueapron.com slash belly. That's blueapron.com slash belly. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. That's great. Enjoy the rest of the show. goes along. And when I hear nothing from you two, you and, you know, Gilbert, yeah. no tags, no how are you. Sorry. Did you um, wish Gilbert no, no, a happy on, birthday on the he, <laughs> he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> because he doesn't really love me. Because you would think that he would text me and go, how are you? You either, man. Right? I wake up every door. I know you die every door, too. I'm huh? grateful. Every, every door. door. Every, 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 door. door. every door you open, it closes right in your fucking face, huh? Come on. <laughs> Brick house. I went to New York over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about hers. Ooh. She w- first of all, she did this Madonna thing with her hand. Give it to yeah. me, right? Yeah, yeah, right? That's exactly what she yeah, wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. It's exactly <laughs> what she wanted. Hey, Madonna, what's up? You know what I mean? Don't do a claw like that, Clyla. I don't want to show it. Yeah, yeah. It's so embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. What is this though? So we had a Mendy night before yeah. the wedding. Yeah. And basically, to get our hands, t- um, henna, right? Henna on our hands. And um, there were two ladies there, and I was sort of trying to, like, get out of there quickly. So I think I chose the wrong lady, and I'm pretty sure she was half blind because <laughs> I'll post. <laughs> can, you show, can you show us what you wanted? Can, can, will they be able to see it? Does, has Bobby seen it? Bobby has seen it. I've seen it, it yeah. Okay. The before and after. Mm-hmm. I gave her a picture, and I was like, this is what I want. Can you do it? She's like, can oh, yeah, honey, it? easy. I was like, whoa, she's really confident in her skill. <laughs> and after that, because my she wrapped it up in like this like bandage thing so I could move around and not hit it. And then when I unwrapped the bandage later on that night in my small little um, New York apartment bedroom, yeah, I couldn't breathe. Like I was laughing so hard. Yeah, because I was in stitches. The henna is for human beings, not the creature from Shape of Water. <laughs> Because that's what your hands are constantly wet. Well, they weren't wet when she was doing them, and I think they sweat <laughs> afterwards. So <laughs> and I, um, you know, I was part of the bridal party. Yeah. And so the next day, everyone's henna was beautiful, and I looked like I had just dragged my knuckles in dog shit. <laughs> yeah. I just was like walking like this on dog shit. Shape of water, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So embarrassing. Also, um, just going to oh. throw this out there in case you guys get married. Yeah. Well, it doesn't Who's going to get married? You and your girl? Please. Who's going to get married? I think George Anyone. will probably get married first. Probably first. If you get married before us, you can, you're can. you out. Do not get married. And then when you propose, tell me first. Can I say this, though? Yeah. Um, uh-huh. It doesn't matter because you're just a beautiful woman. What do you mean? Damn. Oh, my henna, you mean? No, everything about you. You're just beautiful. I've been looking at you all day today going, what a beautiful woman she is. Thank you. That's so nice. Because I looked at you today, and what did I say? You're the ugliest or something that I've ever seen or something. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> something like, like, something very brutal. No, I said, fuck, I hate your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you love that. No, I don't. You boner. don't like that? He no. loves that. No. Look he, at this mustache. You know it made you happy. It does make me happy. Because I'm not used to him without a mustache, and it, I hadn't seen him in 16 days. He comes home without a mustache, and I just get creeped out. Oh, I, I wasn't going to say this, but say it. <laughs> I think I have, don't get angry, baby. Yeah. But I think I have, I'm not kidding you. I think I have some sort of condition. Uh huh. My penis smells. <gasps> oh my God. He, he said, don't get mad. Don't, I don't know what it is, but I, I, I'll, every once in a while, I'll touch the head of my penis. Yeah. And I'll smell it, and there's something going on. Is it not just regular old dick dick? It, it's not regular dick dick. There's something going on. It's not fungus or anything like is that. It, is it col- is Wait, I think the pee, colored? I think the pee. Has a smell to it that's affecting the dick. (laughs) 
Maybe you could. Oh, wait, what, what? What? Wait, like asparagus kind of pee, or it could be that oh. because the tip. It, maybe it's too much acai. No, it's like healthy. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the acai is fucking it without my pee, but it smells. Let me smell it right now. Oh, no, 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 please, God. Okay, no, I just want to smell it real quick. Science alert. Don't, like, oh my God. No, nothing. Sweetie, nothing. Nothing. Oh. Nothing. See, this is what I am going to be real with you. Okay, I'm going to have a real moment with you. You can't keep doing that. You can't keep eating your boogers and bragging about how your dick smells. I'm because not bragging about it. I need help. Day, at the end of the day, yeah. you and I, in order to get over our slump, yeah. you have... I take good care of myself. And that's I'm why sure. I said, that's why I said, I called you and I said, I want to get the, the machine. But your dick, I want to get the, ar- I don't care how much, how fit you get. If your dick smells, I don't want none of it. <laughs> I don't know. My, t- the machine. My, t- my dick smells because of my diet, I think. What's it smell like? Like rot? You want to smell it? But can you describe okay, a little smell bit? Smell my dick. Like what I'm is the flavor? Smell my dick real quick. Smell it. Oh my God. Well, there's smell my the reaction. Dick. <laughs> it smells just fine. Okay, good. Oh. It smells like baby powder. Are you sure there we it was just like Hawaii sweat? There we go. It was Hawaii sweat. A little bit? That's I it. I think maybe, yeah. Hawaii sweat. It's a that's good what album. it is. It's a good album. Dude, that's a good Hawaii sweat. Uh, Hawaii sweat, write that down. In fact, you and I are going to come with a, with a bunch of little sayings like that. But I like Hawaii sweat Hawaii a lot. Sweat. I know that this is probably everywhere in the United States and the world, but this is. Particularly um, creepy because um, this girl um, was living next to us down the hall for a couple of months, mm-hmm. and she's our neighbors. She, my, our neighbor, let a girl sublet. Okay, what? Apartment. Who's the neighbor? Right? Do we know the neighbor? We know, but don't say her name. I know, but who is it? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I know well, her. Yeah, I love her. Okay, what? you mouth it. So, oh, okay, right. doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> And so um, yesterday, she told me, she's like, my, the girl I fucking let sublet my place took off with $1,000 worth of my clothing. Um, she took the car. She like basically robbed her, right? And um, But she left. This girl's like completely out of her fucking mind. She left her diary there and some fucking vials of like HCG. HCG. It's like a pregnancy hormone. She was like shooting up. I think she, maybe she was either going to donate her eggs or I don't know what the fuck she was doing. Okay. With it. Yeah. Anyways, but can I read you what's in her fucking diary? This is every day. This is, this uh, is, n- uh, it's great. this is great. September 12th. This was the good stuff. Tell me if you think this, this was, this person was living down the hall from us. How scary is this? I am a hundred pounds. I am beautiful. I have long, beautiful blonde hair, have white teeth. I have $3 million by January. 2019 I have 10 million followers on Instagram she doesn't she has like 30 Jesus I am at 30 yeah I am at NYC in Paris Fashion Week I am a famous actress I am famous I have amazing designer clothes I travel the world I am at hold on a second um I have anyways next day next diary entry this is a different day I am 100 pounds I am a famous actress. No. I am famous. I have $10 million in my bank account. I know what she's doing. Yeah, I know what she's doing. Yeah, I know, but this is uh, is beyond that. Hold on. This is her manifesting. She read some sort of book. Or if you write this every day, it's going to happen. I am at Camp Something with Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, Natalie Hallcrow, Olivia Person. I have an artist pass. I am obsessed with me. Read my journal. Oh my. I'm on a fucking unicorn with Roddy Roddy Piper. You're the things I come up with. <laughs> I'm in a fucking mining camp with fucking uh, Macaulay and- Culkin and, you know, Mike Tyson. Don Ho. Yeah, Don Ho. I'm his shoulder angel. What is, what is his name? I star in a movie with Ryan Gosling Bradley Cooper. Me too. Cooper. I was so in that thought, movie with her. Okay, listen. Yeah, yeah. So I thought, oh, she's doing, doing her own sick way of daily affirmations, yeah. right? But also, she's also just robbed our neighbor. That's true. Okay, so she's already... <laughs> That's true. But then I checked her Instagram. $10,000 yeah. I checked her Instagram. Yeah. And she has, like, she's nowhere. She's not in the Soho house. She's nowhere, any, but she tags those places like she's there. Yeah. Uh, I've done the same thing. No, you haven't. What is a Soho? Fucking. <laughs> what is it? It's a private club. I know, I know that place. I've been there. Oh, You're right. She's crazy. Did that not fucking... She's crazy, but... She robbed that. But the affirmations parts, I've done that. Yeah. Because, you know, we've, you know... 
Oh yeah, that that gave me a flashback. I think in the early days I did that for Tiger Belly. Like, we'll have a hundred thousand followers. We'll get a million monthly views on YouTube. We're there. I no, am a hundred pa- pounds. Uh, That's never a little there. fucking never <laughs> right after. The, I have an artist pass. Is interesting. The me, like I want to best friends with Kim Kardashian. Ugh. That's a yeah. little icky to me, man. It's pretty I'm icky. sorry. But um, let's put her on blast. What's her name? <laughs> God, I want to say it so bad because she robbed my friend. Well, she we can't more than thirty we followers can't. on Instagram. It'd be uh, we'd be getting her closer to her to her goal. She has thirty million. Fuck! <laughs> I really want to out her. This stupid, stupid bitch. Whoa. And then you know what she said? Because my my friend who was Rob said, "I'm gonna expose you. I'm gonna fucking put this out like your diary." And she was like, "I'm gonna sue you if you do that. I'm gonna press charges." But she's she... like, "You just robbed me." <laughs> this girl's nuts. Yeah, she's absolutely out of her goddamn mind. But apparently, Bobby is so used to this um, LA behavior that this is normal. No, when you said when you were talking about her, it just made me realize what kind of people are, are we? What is this? What are we doing here? When, what do you mean? But what is like what? You know, what, what are, you're on. You know, when you're on set, right? You mm-hmm. see all these. We had these party scenes. Yeah. You know, and you see all these like extras, mm-hmm. and they're not. They just don't want to be extras. You can because you, you talk to them. You're in Hawaii. You're just around people. Mm-hmm. And people have these gigantic dreams and this and that. And it's like all revolved around being famous and making money and all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. And it's a sickness. Don't you think it's a sickness? Yeah. yeah. Hashtag set life. I think some people idolize that. Yeah, yeah. People idolize they it. They really but, idolize it, yeah. But at the end of the day, all it is is a job. It's just working. Mm-hmm. But, you know. That's why it was so refreshing to be in New York. I'm sure New York has its own, you know, you know, set of people just like this. Wall Street. But it does ish. feel a little different. And I do find, even though I don't have eyes for anybody else, babe, I do find that men and women generally more attractive there. Because you're at an Indian wedding? Dude, that Indian wedding was amazing. I'll say no more because Bobby looks like he's falling asleep. And that's not what it is because I know that you're into New York Indian guys. You know what? I... I Right, not I, these like, ones. No, 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 with those ones. No, not so these ones. So what I'm ones. saying is, all these little punji and punj, these punj punj, you're out there in the New York with the fancy no, ones. No, no, these were all family. Watch men. yourself. Watch yourself. They're all family men. They're all doctors. Every last person in there was a doctor. They're all family. Honestly, men. if you said if you said to me, I blew an Indian guy in New York, I wouldn't break up with you. Oh my God, Bobby, <laughs> I'd break up with me. <laughs> she, she was. <laughs> I just set you up that very wow. funny line. Babe. You incepted her. Very good line. That's In fact, that's that line. It was so good. We can close out on that. What are we doing at time? We haven't done an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we doing? That, that joke was so good. We can close out. What is it? Bobby, we're at 49 minutes. Oh, 40, shit. At 48 seconds. Oh, shit. So you need three more seconds. You timed it wrong. <laughs> Kalila, you should have killed it. You could have killed it with that. Say it again. <laughs> what was it? Wait, wait, if wait, I blew wait, an wait, guy, wait, wait. What was it? I, uh, hold, hold. If I blew an indie guy, I would kill myself? <laughs> you would, you would, I would break, break up, up with the, You would not break up with her. Bobby, I'd break up with me. Yeah. That joke. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was, what was the stinkler, difference? stinky. Get him, it's just Bob. the timing. It's just the timing, George. The timing, George. Didn't uh, your let's do it. Let's do a uh, unhelpful. <laughs> unhelpful advice with Bobby. Great. And Kalila. Firstly... My condolences, Bobby, about your father. Never, oh, hi, hi. Wait for him. I've never lost anyone that close to me, but I have had my GameCube crash before I could save my progress. <laughs> Very funny. That is tragic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. On par, on par. It's on happened to par. me Red Dead. It's happened to me before yeah, Red it, Dead. Oh, dude. <laughs> Five hours. Especially the Bullshit. intro. Because the intro is so long. You can't you get the skip it. The, I know, I know, I know. I know. So we get it, bro. We get it, man. Yeah. Same thing. So I'm looking to, for some suggestions on how to manage my OMG, oversized male genitalia. I recently started attending acting classes, and I am fearful that one day I'm going to pop a boner on stage, and I won't be able to hide my seven and a half inch long, five inch girth manhood. Dare I say it's, I even get a little woozy due to the sudden relocation of my sanguine fluid. I cannot think of a better group of people to ask advice from. Uh, what should I do? So he basically has a cement block for a penis, except it's not very long. It's just thick as shit. Five inches. Mm. Which is the with the key I heard. The uh, thickness what? is what? To unlock It's not the length. It's the thickness so that he's killing it. 
Yeah. What do you mean? Like, not everybody. Every all the girls I've talked to. Santino and I were just talking about this last week. Like that redheaded freak has a fucking white, <laughs> freckly, ugly, pale, translucent piece of shit dick. He said it was long. It's long. It's and it, dude, it's pink. Hints of pink. A lot of purple veins, but it's generally just kind of translucent. Yeah. You know, it, it's like you know, it's not good. It <laughs> sucks. Hey, Andrew, fuck that guy. Know. But thank you. You know who else's doing... dick is like like that? That's fucked. Eric Griffin. His is not. Is this translucent? It's not just translucent. It's like oh. balls of black flesh jammed together with a hair. You know what I mean? And a little bit of sickle, you know, in there. Oh no! It's not good. <laughs> They thank, just filled in for you. Thank you guys for doing uh, thank the you for <laughs> Thank you for filling in, by the way. Thank you so much. Thank you. Friends. Thank you. I love you. Hey, guys. Uh, we have another sponsor. Question. Yes. Which of my online searches does the government have a right to know about? I would say uh, zero of them. Hmm. <laughs> you want to know the answer, Gil? I is love it? it. I would love to know the answer of that que- that wonderful Gil, question. Gil, right. None of the above. That's what I was going to say as well. <laughs> Now, if you have ExpressVPN, <laughs> mm-hmm. the answer is none of the above. <laughs> yeah, true. Without ExpressVPN's protection, though, hackers, governments, ad companies, and ISPs all have full access to your data. Gross. I don't want them using my web history or video searches against me. That's why I use ExpressVPN every time I go online. What kind of searches would we find? Ooh, my God. Like a what's, lot of like- It's the most disgusting. very tender question. I enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, seriously, because I, I do a lot of- um stalking of people I shouldn't she's very good at it and I also do a lot of today I do a lot of um, earwax videos oh Mm -hmm. okay and um, a lot of searches for the new um, mosquito disease that's been (laughs) oh no the new there's a new mosquito disease it's not it's not new it's like an encephalitis for mosquitoes but yeah a lot of that and a lot of um, how (laughs) I don't no, no, say the weird one. No, no, say no, it's okay, one. it's okay. I'm done, I'm done. With ExpressVPN, you're safe. See, let's... Thank uh... you, George. <laughs> I am safe. Guys, protect your online activity today and find out how you can get three months free at ExpressVPN. Oh, my God. Three months free? Are you crazy? Not one, not two, but three. ExpressVPN.com slash belly. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash belly for three months free with a one-year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash belly to learn more. The Me Too movement. White male privileged hipsters. I'm a male feminist. <laughs> By the way, this is going to be my last show ever. By the time this fucking thing comes out. All right, so I just want to say this for real. Mm-hmm. Is if you look at the, the, the history of comedy and you look at, you know, moments and 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 who is going to impact the culture and whatnot. There's only a couple of guys out there. And, you know, you can say what you want about me, but I know everybody. Mm-hmm. I'm not great. I'm not a great comic. I'm okay. I can kill. I've been known. But Bill, Billy is a special act because he's one of those guys that if he performs, everyone, every comic will pour into the room to see what he's saying because... He's just one of those voices now that's very relevant, and he's one of the best comics in of our generation. You have Chappelle; he's one of them as well. But Billy's got to be included in that. Um, he's one of the best, and um, obviously Netflix is a very special place. Mm-hmm. And even though they don't like me, <laughs> they love him. They love Billy, and they love the best. They love Chappelle. They love all the greats. Mm-hmm. Except me. <laughs> but it's fine. I, maybe I'm not good. That's the guest fine. is really good. But you know what's really good? Bill Billy Burr. And, and this new sp- special, Paper Tiger. Not only that, why it's special is because also it's done in London. Mm-hmm. And it's done by Mike Binder. You don't know who Mike Binder is, but Mike Binder is a 1970s, 1980s comedy store legend. Mm-hmm. Mike Binder was. And he's a friend of mine. God bless you. But please watch Paper Tiger on Netflix He's one of the greatest comics of our generation, and um, I love him. Bye. Enjoy the rest of the show. But um, no, but this guy. Um, but to hear, hey guy, hey guy, yeah, you have a thick dick. It's nice. You probably you look at it in the mirror and you go, oh, the life is gonna be good for me. But eventually, you're gonna meet one person, and they're gonna be tired of your dick one day, and you got to 
figure something else out. No, that's not what he's worried about. What is he's it? worried he's about actually... popping a boner during fuck, uh, no in gonna, public who gives a shit. Public situation. That's a dumb. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> pop, pop a boner. I have um I have a friend pop right now it. who's in need of some unhelpful advice. What is it? Um, so we gotta um, do another one. That was terrible. She recently asked I'm me terrible. if, and I need to get a survey from the three men in the room. Yep. Um, would it bother you if you were having sex with a woman and you um, were you had good visibility of her anus at the time while you're fucking her, uh-huh. and you see that she has a um, prolapsed hemorrhoid hanging? How do, how do I know what that looks like? Like a tail? It looks like a hemorrhoid, like a little ball, a meatball, like hanging out of her butt. Like, because yeah. it's a, it's... I'll tell her. No, I know, but would that turn you off? Is it something that would stop you from seeing her sexually? No, no, no. Oh, here's what I would do. I would come. You oh. have to come. Out of... I would come. I mean, I hope you wouldn't stop. And pretend face. not that, that I didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah. And... She, and then she's going to go, are you going to sleep over? I would be like, no. So it does turn you off then. I'm not saying I turned off. He Let just, me finish my story. She's just okay. not sleeping over. I go, no. And then she calls me the next day. I don't text her back. Oh, no. And then years go by. So it does turn you out. You're no, out. No, 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 I'm out. I just get your shit together. That's all. I, I don't want that. I mine back in there. <laughs> <laughs> you have a little tail, did a little bump, bump, bump back there? Yeah. What is it? Give me that. Oh, that's what the prole- uh, prolapse. Like, it's a little hemorrhoid. It's a little ball. Oh, my God. Look at this Let one, Let me though. see. So you'd stay now, baby. No, no, Bobby. I'm out. You're still out. Let me see. Can I see just so I have it? Bro, if that... Let me see. Oh, I would I would be more concerned. Eh, for, I would be more concerned for bad. her. I've seen worse. But I'd be really? concerned for Let her. See. Let, me see. Yeah. Let me see some more buttholes. Yeah. What did you Google? Prolapse so what should I tell hemorrhoid? her? You, George? If you really liked her, she was somebody you've been speaking to. You really enjoy her sexually, <laughs> but you just happen to see a meatball, like, you know, hanging from her butt. What if she had, like, a little thing sticking out of her butt, and then you blew it like a dick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so right? you're saying it's long enough to stick it's out? It's long enough, like, it's sticking out like a little dick, right? And you just blow it. You're blowing her rectum, basically. I, <laughs> I know, but, but is that tongue a blowjob or no? It's no, a butt it, job. Yeah. Would that feel good, you think? No. I think it would. Because hemorrhoids get very tender and like red and dry and itchy. Your asshole is sticking out of your butt. Yeah. And it's probably dangling out there like, I'm not supposed to be out of here. I'm cold. Hey, guys. Yeah. Right? I'm cold, whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. And then in its head, the little asshole, it's like, I've never, you know, no, I don't know what a lip is. Are you in or out, George? And then it sucks your dick, your ba- asshole like a dick. All right. That, what? <laughs> I should, should, we should cut this off. I don't know. No, why. he need, this guy needs to hear this. Yeah, I yeah. think I'm still in. I think I'd just completely ignore it for like a week or two. Yeah. and then Would you address it? I'm terrible to that. No, I'd, I probably wouldn't address it. <laughs> I'd completely it. ignore it. Would you I'd like her any less? I'd kill myself. <laughs> don't say that. Probably not. I'd be a little don't curious as to what it was, though. Okay, well, and then okay, try to figure out enough. how to. I feel like you're a fair guy. Except for I really liked her, I would stop and I'd. You'd go stop to, and go to the doctor with her. What do you mean? It's a hemorrhoid. Everyone gets hemorrhoids. Uh, a lot of women, especially when they give birth, they pop a, a hemi out. I don't know. I feel like I don't want to help her put it back in. Okay, but some people do that, but then it comes back out during sex. Let's say. Then I'll just press it down. Oh, so you would actually pull put it back in yeah. for her? Hey, Gilbert, would you smell my dick? Uh, if you. Out of curiosity, no. Nope. No, 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 no. Of, don't, 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 don't do that. That's not good. That's not Can good. We end it now? <laughs> hey, there's um. Do you want other questions? There's one unhelpful know, advice like, that I forwarded like, to you. Is which one is it? Um, hey guys, I need some unhelpful advice. After ten years of being married to someone who slowly got more and more mentally ill, the abuse pushed me to cheat with someone who was like my best friend, who was also married with kids. She wasn't happy in her marriage either, but wasn't as bad as me. We fell deeply in love, and our, and our idea was to have a kid in secret, and she would pass it off as her husband's. And we'd just go back to being best friends, and she'd send pics and tell me about our son over email now and again. Yeah, crazy, yes, but huh. it was the only way we could be together inside of our child. After she had him, she stopped talking to me completely. I don't know why. My son is three now, and I don't even know what he looks like or how he is. I met him twice until he was just turning two. I wrote a long, angry email to her telling her how much she hurt me by doing this. I think I have to let go, but it's so hard to move on. 
I also finally got the courage to leave my abusive partner, so I'm trying to start over. Any unhelpful advice on how to let go of extreme emotions like this? Everything with that person just feels so unfinished. That's okay. I don't. I have. I have things to say, but go ahead, say please, it. can you? Say, yeah. I think everyone in that scenario is mentally ill. I think that they're delusional. I think that they're reckless, and I don't think that they're people who should be with kids or having or being married or starting a family like that's all really crazy shit to me to be to be so like and and this is the key thing she my my wife was so mentally ill she pushed me she pushed me to cheat i don't know man that 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 doesn't sit right with me leave her then no one pushes you to cheat Mm, leave her sounds like an excuse yeah, and to think that you can have a child together with someone who's already married, who has a child with somebody else, like that to me is next level. You're living in not in the real world. You're living in fucking soap operas. I don't know. I I I hope you don't hate me for this, but you you don't fucked up seek, there, just man. Seek, I don't think you did. Seek counsel. I think you should rat that other person out though, and say that that kid is mine. Can't she do that? He do that. Legally. Who is it, a guy or a girl? I don't even know. Yeah, but what if the f- woman finally came to her senses and she's like, "That was an insane idea. I regret it. I want to stick together with a family that I built with this other man who I love, and I want to remove this insane person out of my life. Who during a weak moment in my life, you know, I conceived the baby with. Maybe she's just trying to. Things have finally come around for her, and she's like, "Fuck that! I need to run away and fix this." Yeah, but you know, you you, you look at lives people's lives in the Midwest, you know, just regular people, regular and average people. And, you know, they go to work, right? They go to the ball game in the weekends. But it's, you know, some people, they like the kind of crazy excitement and the adrenaline rush of these kind of situations to to liven up their lives. Imagine, you know, you're, you're in a small town. In a, I don't know what this person's situation is, but, you know, all these little things, you know, mm-hmm. You know, I'll, I'll give you an example of like, you know, I could be in a coffee shop and see, you know, an attractive guy or girl walk in and go, oh, that person's attractive, whatever, right? But I don't really need to, you know, cheat or do anything of these to make my life exciting because my life is already kind of exciting, you know? Like that's in, it's, you cannot conceive a child, bring life onto this world because you think that you want to create this like clandestine love story. Yeah. Like that is selfish. I know, but that is people, not thinking that's about that. That's how people life. make that's how their lives are exciting now. That's not excitement. That's that's cruel. It is cruel. Mm-hmm. It is cruel, but it's you can see why one acts in that way of like, you know. Well, A B C D not are getting all caught. In- you know th- those that feeling of not getting caught, hiding right adrenaline D- doing yeah, extra yeah. things so that that you can get away with the thing that all that stuff is spy shit then exciting go and that's why base jumping yeah I, you know like that's i don't know i think it's a crazy in story, story it's insane. a crazy story it's pretty insane it's a good movie i think eh <laughs> i like that's it. what i'm saying it sounds like a, i think he's it sounds living crazy. in the clouds soap, soap opera yeah. that poor really child. guys thanks for listening to another episode of the tiger belly we d- did it and you know what it was a real pleasure for me you know, it was mind, mind over matter. I love you. I'm doing Portland. Am I doing that now? Next weekend. Yeah, Portland. I'm in Portland next weekend? Mm-hmm. When does this come out? Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. I'm in Portland next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you guys. I, I, I haven't September been myself. 26 I'm, to 28. Sorry. I was just. 26 to 28th of September. Of September. My birthday is. Tuesday. This coming Tuesday. 17th. And I just want to say, it's a special year for me. From you two especially. I really need a special gift. Oh, I got you. You always do, don't you? you How about you, George? I'm getting you. Yeah, I know. I'm getting you. I'm getting you too. I love you guys so much. Thanks for listening. I just, I don't know what's wrong with me today, but you clean it this up. Mm -hmm. You can clean it up, right? Mm -hmm. You need to clean it up. My mind's not real. I don't know what's wrong. Maybe I'm going to, can I do it again, you think? No. You think yeah. I'll get it back? I you need to cry. I know, but I can't. What do we do? I don't know. That's what it is. 
I'm just like pent up all these emotions. I can't cry over my my dad. It's weird. I don't know what the fuck happened. about other things though. Yeah, but like I'll watch like something that's beautiful. Yeah. You know, or something that makes it'll make me cry on the internet. Which there are some things that do it. I can tell you what those things I can tell you what those things are. They're weird. What what I like you know but what you know what I've been getting emotional over is people watching the Force Awakens tease trailer for the first time live. The for Remember oh, The Force Awakens yeah, yeah. when you thought about J.J. Abrams and he was going to do that new Star Wars movie? Yeah. And when you saw that little teaser, it was so very Star Wars. It was really The good. world was good. It was good. It just hit at the right spot and people watching it crying, it makes me cry. So you watch people crying too. Yeah, I know. It's dumb. I know. But I, I, need, I know I need to cry, but I don't know how. It might not happen for years. Well, don't say that. I don't, I don't know because I can't do it. And I'm, you know, I've been pretty fucking miserable, I think. Yeah, I think I've been miserable and depressed. I, I I think that you have and I think you're also the fact that you're not home with your animals, you're not home around the people that you know or at the comedy Different. store. I think it chips away at you. you know, that's what's familiar and in this really vulnerable time, it's good to see that familiarity and surround yourself with that. Yeah, but it's also weird to be around people you don't know and to be lost. Yeah. And to like... You know, you're in these like you're in the jungle with a machine gun, right? Pretend with, with you yeah. pretend oh, machine pretend, gun, pretend, yeah. And it's like two in the morning, and they're like, "We do it again," right? And you're sitting there sweating and and feeling these emotions of your dad or whatever, and you pinning it and just mem- you know you memorize these lines. I gotta do this. It's just a weird thing to be in. You'd feel lost. Mm-hmm. I feel completely fucking lost. Mm. And I don't know what to do. I don't want to do Peter's coming over. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do anything. Wait, wait. Also, keep this in mind. Yeah. This is always an option. If you need a legitimate break, let's take a legitimate break. No one. We're allowed to. We don't have to do this. We're allowed. You know, to. like if you feel um just unsteady, the podcast is. There I don't forever. feel like I, I feel like I'm not gonna get it back. What do you mean, bro? I just don't feel like my mind. I don't think I don't feel like I don't want to really. I don't know how to get it back. The fun. I don't want to do stand up. I haven't done stand up. I don't want to do it. I didn't call in this week. I don't want to do it. Then take a break. I don't want to do anything. Take a break from it all. So but I don't know if I'll ever get it back. I'm scared. Don't be scared of that. I mean, you just need yeah. to self care. I can't even, honestly, like the four days, I had four days off in Hawaii and I was like, I'm going to write jokes. I would go to coffee shops and stare at a wall for four hours. Just stare. Like, I can't think. I don't want to do any of this. Mm. I don't know what to do. Let's end. Hey, guys. Thanks for listening. I don't know what to thanks do. Thanks so much. What is it? Just uh, stuff. Well, thanks again, guys, uh, to our sponsors, ShipStation, MyBookie, Blue Apron, ExpressVPN, and Netflix. You can try ShipStation free for 60 days. Just visit ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in belly. Join MyBookie now and double your first deposit. Use promo code BELLY today to activate offer at MyBookie.ag. You play, you win, you get paid. Check out this week's menu and get $60 off when you visit BlueApron.com slash belly. Protect your online activity today and find out how you can get three months free at ExpressVPN.com slash belly. And check out our friend Bill Burr's new special, Paper Tiger, only on Netflix. You guys... Go ahead. Watch, watch my redheaded friend Bill Burr in Paper Tiger. Mike <laughs> Binder, it. is it good? So good. Mike Binder directed it. Um, who's a friend of mine as well, and um, I love Billy so much. And congratulations on it. Um, I right. love that he he addressed the whole Me Too thing, and he talks about how people are like overcorrecting in all like the worst ways possible, and I think that it's very necessary to. That, that he said it in the way he did. Yeah. I'm going to watch it. I think maybe I'll watch it tonight or tomorrow. Have you seen Chappelle's yet? Yes, of course. I'm going to see that too. I, I haven't done it. I, I can't, I can't. Oh yeah, go ahead. I love Loved the reviews it. for it. No, the reviews are that the critics, like 1%, like 10%. Fuck them. Audience, Who gives 99%. Shit? Who gives a shit about yeah. critics though? Exactly. When it comes to stand-up, that is like yeah. the, actually one of the only reviews I'll never, ever read 
Sharon from the Washington and Post. And also these sticker packs that we created. They're coming yeah. out. Open are up. dope as fuck. Look at look at how cold this sticker is. Mm -hmm. And some of these are great. Wait, who's <laughs> Who do you think that is? Who the fuck is that? Who do you think the tired guy is? Charlie? No. <laughs> Babe, come on. Who's your former, uh, who's your best friend? That's Bryce? <laughs> he looks so slow. That's Bryce? Oh. Look how slow he looks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He looks completely retarded. <laughs> that? Full on. That yeah, that he doesn't went look like him. Full on. Yeah. Full on, yeah. Wait, so Bryce is on here? Yes, yeah, yeah, why is Bryce on there? I love him, though. But the sticker pack is probably the best in the business, Because Bryce guys. got these made. That's why yep. Bryce yeah. is on there. That fucker. <laughs> that fucker. Hey, you're what a smart a guy. smart guy. But thank you for making them, Bryce. Yeah. But thank you so yeah, much. And I didn't know that I was like a full blown blown dwarf. <laughs> why do you you're so short? <laughs> yeah, why am I so short in these, Bryce? Anyway, um, thank you guys for listening. I love you so much. And uh bye. We love you guys. Make sure you follow Tiger Belly on Instagram at Tiger Belly, on Twitter at that Tiger Belly. Uh email us any questions uh for unhelpful advice or helpful advice at uh advice unhelpful at gmail.com. You can follow Kalila at Calamity K. George Kimmel. George underscore Kimmel. Look out for that swipe up. And remember what Andrew Santino said is, after three days, unfollow him. And also, oh, well, hey, hey. Uh, everything Bobby Lee Live, like his tour dates, go to BobbyLeeLive.com. And everything Bobby Lee, go to at Bobby Lee Live on Instagram. Everyone, have a good night. <laughs>